This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, hello, ho there, it's Jeff Curry Dunn, and welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe on this day. Actually, there was nothing interesting on this day, October the 11th. I mean, personally, I went to a hometown hockey event in Kitchener and got on TV somehow with, in photos six years ago, but no. I'm talking about Sports Catastrophe birthday girl today. Now, I could have done Steve Young for the birthday thing, but because I have a rule that I try my best not to have the same sport in back-to-back -back birthday boy slash girls, I had to go with it. And then I found Michelle Wee's bio, and I'm thinking, you know what? Be perfect. Michelle Wee used to be an icon and all that. Well, she still is on the major tours. Well, she's only 32 years old today. She was actually the youngest to qualify for a USGA Amateur Championship at age 10. Can you imagine 10 years old? She was the youngest winner of the U.S. Women's Amateur Public Links. That's a mouthful. And the youngest to qualify for an LBGA Tour event. She turned professional before her 16th birthday in 2005, accompanied by a lot of publicity and endorsements. She has only one major, the 2014 U.S. Women's Open. But anyway, we was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, and the only child of immigrant parents from South Korea. Her father was a former professional of travel industry at the University of Hawaii, and her mother was an amateur golf champion from South Korea. When she was born, we was actually a still citizen of South Korea and the United States. She renounced her South Korean citizenship in 2013. Anyway, we graduated from school in Honolulu. She would actually decide to go to Stanford because her paternal grandfather was a fencing professor and had an aunt and uncle who were graduates of Stanford. She rolled as a freshman for Stanford, but she couldn't play in NCAA tournaments because she was a professional. But she decided to take her studies instead of playing for golf. So she got her major in communications. At age 10, she was at the U.S. Women's Amateur Public Leagues Championship, the youngest player to qualify. In fact, eight years later, it was surpassed by a fellow Hawaiian who was actually five, years, five months younger than we when she did it. However, we remain the youngest player to advance match play in that tournament. So she looked good and all that. In 2002, she qualified for the Takibuji Classic or take Fuji in Classic in her home state of Hawaii. She missed the cut, but her record stood for five years until Aria Judenegrium of Thailand did it in 2007. Aria must be really young. However, at the 2003 Nabisco Championship, she made the cut. She got a 66 in the third round, which was amazing, and made her play in the final group of the championship. Like, wow. She ended up winning the Women's Amateur Public Links Tournament in 2003 to win a U and the youngest person, male or female, to be a USGA adult champion. And she made the cut at the US Women's Open at 13 years old. That's amazing. She actually was given a sponsor's exception to the 2004 Sony Open, becoming the fourth PGA, fourth female to play a PGA Tour event. She got a 68 on the second round, but sadly she missed the cut by one stroke. In fact, she actually bettered 47 people, including four people who won a major, so that's amazing. She went to the Sony Open again two years later at age 16. She didn't qualify for the final two rounds, but she still did okay. She would keep playing at the Sony Open and all that for a few years. And then by the time she turned 16, she was turning pro, so she would sign sponsorship contracts with Nike and Sony worth $10 million a year. When we was professional, she wasn't on any tour because LBGA tour membership age requirements must be 18 years old. Although some players have an exemption at 17, like Martin Pressel. But we chose not to request an exemption. She wanted to do it the hard way.
but we did pretty well for herself. She ended up having four top five finishes on the LPGA Tour in her first year of just playing under exemptions. All that. We had a lot of stunts. And all that. She just got stumbled. But she was eligible to play full-time for the LBGA starting in 2009. She passed qualifying school. And she still wanted to play in tournaments against men. But she didn't get the exception to the Sonia Kudovani. <coughs> Michelle Wee's first tournament as a full LBGA member was the season opener at Turtle Bay. And she was actually looking good. She had a three-stroke lead with eight holes left, but choked in a way, in a sense. She she was good in Solheim Cup. That is basically the American, the the women's version of the Ryder Cup, if you will. So she ended up she ended up. Winning in t her first professional tournament was the Lorena Ochoa Invitational in Mexico. And then her second professional one was in Canada at the St. Charles Country Club in Winter Winterbank. So, looking good. We won the LPGA Latte Championship, her first title tour event in the United States. And she won her only major championship, the U.S. Women's Open in 2014. But we can contribute to a lot of multimedia golf coverage. All of that. The problem with Michelle Wee is that she has some issues. Performances in men's events. She didn't do that well in the men's events. So, like, that's controversial. Use of exemptions. People are criticizing her over how many exemptions she got to play LGBT in the LPGA tournament before turning 18. Michelle Wea is known for her caddy turnover, like dropping caddies a lot, and a wrist injury that should have gotten her away. Anyway, that was weird. So, regardless, she's only had five. LBJ to win the Lorena Ocho Invitational, the CN Championship, Women's Open 2010, the LBJ Lauding 2014, the US Women's Open 2014, and the Women's World Championship in 2018. But anyway, she still did okay. Her personal life is that she actually was engaged to Johnny West, who's director of basketball operations for the Golden State Warriors, and is the son of Jerry West, the iconic man on the logo for the NBA. They married in 2019, and we actually gave birth to a daughter, Makenya Kamale Yuna West. So she w she's been doing okay. I mean, a lot. She has a lot of age records and all that. She still hasn't translated that to wins, but, you know, who can blame her? I mean, she might come back to tennis, and I mean, golf, and do well. You never know. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.